Fox News polling showing President Biden opening a narrow lead over former President Trump. President Biden gets his best result this election cycle in the head-to-head -head against former President Donald Trump. He leads 50 to 48, that is, within the margin of error. President Biden hasn't been ahead of former President Trump in the polls since October 2023. He trailed Trump by one point last month. But Biden is up five points now since March. Breaking down the vote, we see men breaking for Donald Trump. Meanwhile, white women with college degrees largely going for Joe Biden. Uh, Biden is now leading. How do you explain that? It's going to go back and forth a lot between now and November. I'm sure that Trump's conviction has made somewhat of a difference for Biden. So I think that a bit of turbulence is to be expected. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. This debate is huge. It's huge for President Trump because we see in our Fox poll, Biden leads among independents by nine. <laughs> if you're wondering what that awful ketchup smell is, it's coming from Mar-a-Lago after Trump's own personal megaphone. Fox News were forced to report on their own poll that documented a shift in favor of the incumbent. We were just talking about politics a moment ago. Well, there is a new poll that shows the race for president is getting even closer. It, it's significant significant for Biden in that this is a three point swing and it shows Biden two points up over Trump nationally. Uh, the, the, the people of America are going to very soon have a choice between Donald Trump, who wakes up every day thinking about himself, thinking about his billionaire friends and then thinks about how he's going to hurt people that he thinks have hurt him. Joe Biden wakes up every day fighting for the American people, making sure that we're going to protect people's freedoms, protect democracy and lower cost. Donald Trump trailed President Biden in a Fox News 2024 presidential poll for the first time since late last year, and he didn't take it very well. A survey of more than a thousand registered voters from the conservative news network showed that Biden is leading his presumptive Republican rival by two points. And in a previous Fox News poll from May, Trump was leading Biden by one point. The former president was also enjoying a five point lead over Biden in March, showing that there clearly has been a significant swing in favor of the Democrat incumbent in the past three months. In fact, the last time Biden beat Trump in a Fox News poll was back in October of 2023. Uh, but this is the first time that we've shown Biden with any kind of a lead, even within the margin of error, since uh, October of last year. Um, so is this going to fundamentally change the race? No, but it is a bit of good news for the Biden campaign ahead of the uh, debate next week. Listing extremely important issues to their vote, registered voters in this survey citing the future of democracy at 68 percent, the economy at 66, followed by stability and normalcy, then health care and immigration, abortion and guns. This as President Biden is preparing to share a stage with the former president in just over a week. The first presidential debate, which we will cover live right here on Fox News Channel next Thursday night. And the thing is, you know alarm bells are ringing when even the likes of Kayleigh McEnany are struggling to spin it in Trump's favor. Absolutely. This debate is huge. It's huge for President Trump because we see in our Fox poll, Biden leads among independents by nine. It's going to go back and forth a lot between now and November. I'm sure that Trump's conviction has made somewhat of a difference for Biden. But remember, we have this debate next week, and that could also change a lot. We could see another flashback to Trump going ahead in the polls uh, himself, depending on how Biden performs. So I think that a bit of turbulence is to be expected. However, Trump is still making significant gains among demographics that really matter, including women, especially black and Hispanic women, young voters like myself, and he's basically reached the point of support among men that he was at back in 2016, uh, which is another significant tell of which, which direction this election is heading towards. Yeah, that debate's going to be really important. And the best thing the former president could come up with as an excuse was Fox polls have never been good for him. Right. The very network in which hosts are often seen comparing Trump to Jesus are responsible for biased polling in Biden's favor? Uh, under Joe Biden, uh, we're actually living under a dictatorship today where he's you know, bypassing Congress on immigration policy. He's bypassing Congress on protecting our border. He's bypassing uh, Congress uh, on student loan forgiveness and he's defying the Supreme Court. I mean, those are the things that authoritarians and dictators do is they don't follow our democratic processes and they just assert their own liberal uh, view. And that's what the Biden administration is doing. Right.
Now, there is a few things I want to break down here. As I've said before, hanging your hat on every poll that emerges is a losing strategy. See 2016 for how bad that can go. But there is some context worth noting here, right? First of all, it's the first that Fox News have conducted since Trump became the first US president in history to be convicted of a crime, which across countless polls, not just Fox News, has shown to negatively impact Trump's appeal to both moderate Republicans and independents, which is corroborated by this poll. A nine point swing from independent voters in favor of Biden compared to May's poll. But look, he has to win Nikki Haley voters. And they're not necessarily Nikki Haley loyalists to her specifically. Some of them are. But it's depending on what state you're looking at, maybe one fifth of Republican voters say they're not comfortable with Trump. They want it to be someone else. They're still voting for her sort of out of protest, even though she's been out of the race for better part of what, two months at this point. Those people are going to be essential to a Trump victory coalition. Another factor that's interesting here is it suggests Biden's improvement in the polls are down to more voters considering the US economy to be in, quote, excellent or good shape, which is something that you'd hope more people were made aware of sooner. But when the likes of Fox News themselves are going above and beyond to downplay every single jobs report that surpasses expectations and deliberately mislead their audience. You can see how it's not always easy to be heard in an echo chamber of regurgitated hate. Today at the site uh, in 2018 where Trump plan for the, the Foxconn facility, which was going to bring a bunch of jobs to the area. Uh, Biden hosted his event today announcing a, a semiconductor or an AI facility with Microsoft there. So not an accident to hold it in the same spot where, you know, Trump failed to bring that to fruition. Is, right. is that what he's left with to to just troll Trump? Biden will be speaking, though, about his economic policy and highlight Microsoft's decision to build this, a $3.3 billion data center in Wisconsin that is expected to create 2,000 jobs. So big news for Wisconsin. He has something in his hand to take to him. An unbelievable record of accomplishment. Stunning. If you had told me that the unemployment rate after COVID mm -hmm. was gonna be back down to 4% or lower, yeah. Lowest in 50 years, isn't it? Absolutely. And and if, if you had told me that uh, 15 million jobs would have been created, that wages are higher now than they were pre-pandemic. Yeah. And the most jobs created in history, hey, correct? Yeah. In this four-year period, yeah. But honestly, one area of notable surprise is would you believe when the June results are broken down further, Biden received the support of 73% of black voters. I mean. How can that be? Wasn't Trump just bragging about his growing support in the black community to an all black church in Detroit that actually looked more like the crowd you'd find at the National Cornhole Championship? Uh, Donald Trump was in Detroit and the pastor said, uh, you're the only one who's come here. He said, uh, Barack Obama didn't. You know, we see Biden at these big Hollywood parties with all these celebrities and it's just not relatable. But he goes to this black church in Detroit and his campaign does not take any steps to avoid the pews being completely filled with white people, with white Trump supporters. Then on the day, the message of his supposed campaign is that he's trying to appeal to black voters, right? That's the whole point of doing this photo op. He then goes straight from that venue, stuffed with white people, uh, to a conference hosted by this guy, who has been in the news for the last few months, um, for saying, quote, we made a huge mistake when we passed the Civil Rights Act in the 1960s. Reported was his visit to a black church in Detroit, Michigan, one of the 10 blackest cities in America with a population that's about 78% African-American and a poverty rate topping 33%. In other words, it would be hard not to fill a Detroit church with black people. So now I want you to look with your eyes. Just look with your eyes again at this crowd. Is what you're seeing here, what you would write in a headline, is a black church? And yet, here was the headline in the New York Times. Trump, in pitch to black voters in Detroit, cast Biden as anti-black. And the Washington Post, Trump portrays rampant crime in speech at black church in Detroit. In the Associated Press, Trump blasts immigrants for taking jobs as he courts voters at a black church. What they somehow forgot to show was how overwhelmingly white that crowd was and also how many empty seats there were in that sanctuary. And while I've said take each poll with a pint of salt, I want to end on this. It's interesting, right? 
With President Biden now leading in the last five national polls that have been released, suddenly the mainstream media's poll obsession has taken a rare pause. Now I wonder why that is. I thought they couldn't get enough reporting on polls. A Fox News poll, our latest one, has Biden taking the lead over Trump. You see there two points leading nationally 50 to 48. Uh, that's what a campaign is all about. Uh, but you have to remind people of where we came from and where we are going and what the stakes are. We have to remind people of the historic record of accomplishment uh, since this president took office. 15 million jobs, 800,000 manufacturing jobs, uh, the work that the president has done to lower costs for middle-class families, uh, capping the cost of insulin, for example, at $35 for seniors. Uh, he's gonna cap the cost of insulin for everybody in a second term. Uh, the $2,000 annual out-of-pocket cap for seniors on prescription drugs, uh, the continued work that we have to do. But also making sure that people understand that everything Donald Trump is talking about doing would only worsen the gap between the super wealthy and the rest of us. He's talking about reinstating uh, even more tax cuts for uh, the ultra wealthy in corporations. We see him out on the stump promising big oil executives that he'll do whatever the hell they want if they cut checks to his campaign uh, while he then cuts our social security. Uh, so we have to make sure that people understand A, what the record of accomplishment is from the president, the work that he continues to do, uh, but also the damage that Donald Trump would do to middle class families uh, if he's able to regain power. And so that's what this campaign is gonna relentlessly communicate from now until November. Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com newsletter.